welcome to my channel, HIV hey, by Yulia. I'm Yulia and I'm your virtual beauty therapist. I have been one for the past 11 years. I hope you enjoy this channel and all the advices, ideas and tips that I'm giving you. If you do so, please consider subscribing to it, give this video a thumbs up, comment below and share it. You can also find me and follow me on Instagram and TikTok for much more beauty content. Tiam is a brand that I have mentioned before in my videos, but I haven't dedicated video to the brand or any of the lines. So when I got three of the products that I will show you today, they are from the purple line, the one with snail and azuline, and they are targeting a healthier skin barrier and calming of the skin. I thought, okay, I'm gonna do a video about them. So I'm going to review them. I have to say that all of the products were kindly gifted by the brands, uh, but it was because I won a giveaway in Instagram, so I have no obligation to create any social media content about them. However, I want to do so and I want to show you because it's winter, it's cold and if you're someone like me with sensitive skin, you're certainly looking for something extra for your skin by year to reduce any kind of redness and irritation and this is definitely on paper the line that will be the perfect for you. Now in case you're not aware, Tiam comes from Persian. It means a twinkle in the eye when you meet someone for the first time. The brand is looking mainly into natural ingredients and I have to say everything is quite affordable if you ask me. Everything is below 20 pounds but very very often big retailers like uh, Yestal and Star Korean are going to give you sell on those products so you can get them even cheaper more affordable. This is definitely a brand that I do like. They don't use artificial coloring they don't use added alcohol and they don't use fragrance into their skincare. So for me, all of this sounds amazing. But let's talk about this line. So the box that I received the products from, I don't know if it's a PR box or it will be box that consumers will be possible to purchase themselves, but it looks like this. So these are the products in the box. And so this is two of the products came with the box the cleanser came without the box you have here and a few really nice stickers the highlighted ingredient. The first one is snail. Now this is an ingredient that has been everywhere for the past few years. It should be working like a magic from calming, anti-inflammatory, anti-aging, redness reducing, hydrating, moisturizing and whatnot. Now because it is so overhyped I was wondering if everything that the brands are claiming for is actually true. So I decided to dig a little bit deeper and I do plan to create a video specifically for snail filtrate. So if you like this video and if you want to know a bit more about snail, press on the notification bell so that you know. I don't think that it will be in the next video that I publish but probably very likely the one afterwards. So if you want to know about snail fil filtrate and what the science says and not just the brand selling you the products, stay tuned about this one. And then the second ingredient that we have here is called azuline or guayazuline. This is a very specific hydrocarbon type of molecule. Now, it can be find, found actually in different kind of species. So it can be found in different mushrooms, in chamomile, in blue tansy as well, and actually even in a few different species of soft coral. So it's not something that can be found only in one type of plant and I want you to bear this one on mind. Now it is very specific because it has blue color, very bright blue color and it has been used mainly for coloring the product. Now this is a compound that works to reduce the inflammation. So when your body is stressed it sends signals in order to fight with any kind of um, invasion from bacteria, from anything that you might think of that the body feels that it is threatened to. 
However, this very strong reaction usually results in inflammation, redness, irritation, and swelling. So a lot of different brands started to use this type of ingredient, the azulin, in order to reduce this very strong reaction from the body and from the immune system. So guaiazulin is not something that will stop your body to react, but it is going to reduce the immune reaction towards any kind of irritation and therefore reduce the inflammation. Now inflammation causes also aging. Inflammation is something that will cause irritation, inflammation will cause even more breakouts, and that's why soothing ingredients are indeed suitable for every single skin type, especially if you're tapping into some kind of active ingredients. Even if your skin is not usually sensitive, you want to make sure that it will stay resilient in the future. Azulin oil is obtained usually from steam distillation and for the purpose is used either chamomile or yarrow or blue tansy flower. Usually it is very well tolerated unless obviously you have say allergy towards chamomile then obviously this oil is not going to be something that you will go for. Azul means blue in Spanish and that's where the name of the ingredient comes from. So if you think about skincare uh, ranges and lines that you have been using that the product had this type of natural blue color, very likely this is the reason why. So think about Midnight Blue and Dear Claire's, Herbivore, Sunday Briley and even Mario Badesco. So this is the first product. This is a cleanser which is targeting sensitive, irritated and dry skin. This will be your second cleanser or say if you want to just wash your face once in the morning, this will be once again something that you will use. I have been using this for about three weeks now. I have been using it every single day. My skin is dry and sensitive and this is not stripping. So the class that the brand has is that this is a low cage cleanser that is going to remove the impurities but it will not irritate further the skin it will not dry it out and i do agree with this from point of view of sensation this is actually slightly slimy and it forms but just a little bit so it's not something that will create a lot of bubbles there's not a lot of foam here but it does the job very well this is 200 milliliters of product so it's quite a large tube i like that it's hygienic i can actually keep it like this into my shower and use it there as well. So from point of view of how this will look, how big it is and its price, it's wonderful. From point of view of surfactants, they are uh, delivered from coconut and they're actually quite gentle. There's nothing that is super stripping. Then we have snail secretion, which is 7%. Now, I don't really mind if it's lower than this even percentage because this is a wash off product. As long as it is working and it is gentle for me personally, that's absolutely fine. You do have here also pantadol and you have a lot to it. There's no essential oils. You do have here only 50 ppm of your sodium y azulin sulfonate. So this is your azulin into this product. So you can open it and use it within a year. Bear in mind that because it contains natural ingredient, it can slightly change its color even here on the tube. The manufacturer does mention this, but this doesn't affect any sort of um, further irritation for your skin or changing the ability to cleanse your skin for this cleanser. So yes, for me this was absolutely a winner. I do like it, I do enjoy using it and I can recommend it for dry and sensitive skin. So this is our essence. It comes in 180 milliliters of bottle. Quite easily to apply it. I have to say it is a very very slippery once when you apply it onto the skin. I feel like I can do actually a little massage until obviously it does absorb. As I'm talking about absorption, it does absorb completely. So it's not something that will stay on the skin. It doesn't leave a film. It doesn't leave any kind of sticky sensation. This is how my skin looks afterwards. It feels kind of more soft, more moisturized, hydrated. So from this point, definitely it is working. This is the essence that the brand suggests for anyone who is with sensitive, irritated skin, anyone who needs to repair their skin barrier. And I, once again, 
do you agree with this? Now here you do have a box with all the information. You have 87% of snail field shape. Here's the reason why it is so slippery. Here you have butylene glycol, you have hyaluronic acid, you have beta-glucan as well, which are great hydrating moisturizing ingredients. You have uh, panthenol. And despite this texture, I have to say that this is also a motion that you can apply a few layers if you want to. So you can apply it, leave it to absorb and then apply one more, two more. It's not going to make your skin any worse for what is worth. It is going to calm it down. It works really well. I was very happy with this one. So yes. This is the last product. So this is the sleeping mask. It comes in a jar and it is 8 milliliters. I have to say I would prefer if it was at the jar because it makes a mess. It is kind of a slightly stripy. It doesn't make as much mess as the like, cream that I have with snail, but it's definitely something that I can see. Here we have 81.5% of snail secretion. This will be the last step of your skincare routine for the evening. So you apply whatever amount you feel comfortable with and then you slightly pat in order to improve the penetration. It's not going to make a complete mess of your pillows like the night mask that I have tried, but with that being said, I have to say that for some reason it wasn't enough moisturizing for me. Bear in mind that I am dry and dehydrated and sensitive. So from point of view of irritation, I didn't experience any sort of irritation. It was calming, but it wasn't mind-blowing calming, if this makes sense. And it was hydrating and moisturizing, but it is far from enough. Maybe in the summer it will be okay for me. Maybe if you are combination dehydrated type of skin, it will be okay for you even for the winter, but this is my personal experience with this. Now, this is the product with the highest quantity of quiazulin into this line. So this is 80 ppm here, which is 0.008% of the whole of the product. And you have once again Kebabao flower oil here. Unlike the other two products, here actually the brand is mentioning that this will be also anti-aging care. I wasn't really sure why, considering the fact that in the essence you have more snails, so if they are looking into the snail as anti-aging care, why well, didn't set so for, for the essence? But actually here they added arginine, so this is probably... If you ask me the reason why also they are looking into anti-aging care. If you are using some kind of actives, whether we are talking about AHAs or vitamin A and you feel like your skin is about to get flaky and dehydrated, then this is something that you can apply. So say you apply it in the evening your retinol and this will be the last step. If you don't want your blood all over the face, you can apply it only in the areas that you feel are a bit more irritated, a bit more dry. Bear in mind that snail filtrate will not agree with every single type of acne. So always patch this if this is one of your concerns. And also actually you can use this one. You can keep it in the fridge and then if you go to the beach and you feel like your skin is getting a bit irritated in order to reduce this type of redness, burning sensation, you take it out of the fridge, you apply it onto the skin and it feels very nice and cooling. And this is the end of the video for today. So I mentioned the cleanser, the essence and the overnight sleeping mask. Let me know in the comments if you have tried them, if any of those are actually catching your eye and you are considering to purchase them. I added in the description box where you can purchase them from, you can check for more info. Some of the links are affiliated and as usually I always mention if this is the case. I hope you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it and comment below. Let me know your thoughts and I hope you follow me on Instagram and TikTok for more beauty content. I'll see you in two weeks, have a wonderful day! Thank mm -hmm. you.